Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to show you today the song Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Machine. This is one of my favorite songs to play and to teach. And it's got just about everything in it. It's full of really cool rhythms. This is not your everyday typical power chord and solo structure. There's a lot in this song that is very beneficial for your playing in terms of rhythm and you will glean a lot off of it. So you will be in drop D tuning for this song, so make sure you do that first. So you have your D. At the very beginning of the song, you're going to hit a power chord, but it's going to be a low power chord, meaning you're basically going to hold a D chord. You're not going to touch the first string. So basically, I hit 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. My pick did not hit string 2 really hard. It's really basically hitting like 6, 5, 4, and 3. Do not hit 1. And don't hit the open string. So you can hold your D chord without your second finger down. Just don't hit the open string. So maybe it's better just to have your second finger touch that string. To mute. That's the first sound on the guitar in a song. There are four downstrokes, the D chord for half note. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the bass will come in. While this is going on, while the bass plays his riff, you're going to hit fret eight, which is an E flat. It's going to sound a little bit out of tune with D, right? have there is almost like a Phrygian harmony. So that's going from D up one fret to E flat. So that kind of riff really continues throughout the whole song, that D to E flat sound. So what he does at the beginning, he holds that note. It's much like Jimi Hendrix and Foxy Lady, where he hits the note at the beginning. So what you want is that note to ring out. Now here's what I do to mute out the strings around it if you've never done this before. So hit string three, fret eight. Leave it ring, and then you slowly add your vibrato. But watch my right hand. I've got my two fingers. They are blocking out strings one, two, and then four, five, and six. My thumb is laying across four, five, and six, and my other two fingers my middle and ring finger are touching strings one and two, so the only string that can possibly ring is three. And then you want to add vibrato to that note. If you're new to vibrato, you may have a hard time with that, and I don't want to take the time to go into a big explanation of vibrato, but basically it's in the wrist. Classical vibrato is more side to side, like a cello, I like to call it the cello vibrato. You can do a little slide, go up somewhere above the 12th fret, hit the 6th string, and bring this, your finger down. And then hit the bottom string. Just like that. It's trickier than it seems at first, and then it's really easy. So I go up, pick, slide. So after that happens, then we go into that famous single note riff, which is going to be in position 11. You're going to play fret 11, fret 12, and then the same thing on string 3. Now do all down strokes on this. So slowly, fret 11, string 4. Fret 12, string 4. String 3, fret 11. String 3, fret 12. All downs. There's a pedal tone. A pedal tone is a note that is repeated over and over again. And this is your pedal, it's your low string, your low D. one is hitting string 6 and 5-2 is ringing also, but after each hit, 
I mute with both my palm and my finger. Like that. So practice that. If you're new to this, it may take you a while to get. Don't get frustrated. You'll get it. So just practice that. Hit your bottom two strings. Bring both hands down on the strings to kill the sound. If not, you're getting a continuous ring, which we don't want. Here's the tricky part. You've got to get to that first note. So I recommend slowly. Oh, I'm adding vibrato. I don't really think there's a lot of vibrato in this part, so I'll turn it off. I add the second note. 11 to 12. Slow motion. So three hits on the D, which is really a D power chord. So I went up to string three that time and added those two notes. So basically it's like a symmetrical pattern. Take your time. So that's going to happen four times, but on the fourth time there's a bend. You're going to go... You're going to hit string 4, fret 11. Then string 3, you're just going to... You're going to go right to the 12th fret with your second finger, and then push up and bend... Bend up a full step. You don't have to add vibrato. Push. So you're actually bending the note with your second finger, which I like to do. I find that actually easy. So let me do all four of those. So that's really riff number two. I consider the chords riff one. And then we're into the main riff of the song. Basically like a pre-verse or a riff before the main riff. There are many riffs in this song. You're going to be riffing all over the place. Try to be a little bit more localized on hitting the bottom string here. Just Let's just hit the sixth string. <laughs> was like a little precursor to the main riff of the song. And then we go into the main riff. Okay, I'll see you in part two.